What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Today I'm going to discuss a video topic that you guys have been asking for for a long time. The Central American Boa and more specifically the Nicaraguan Boa. So I have a little baby Nicaraguan Boa. This is a Hypo Nicaraguan Boa in my hands. A little bit nippy of a, of a boa right here. And I have all kinds of snakes next to me. So I think I have about 10 boas that I'm going to show you guys today. They're going to be different variations of the Nicaraguan Boa. Give you a little backstory and why I think that they're really cool snakes and really cool boas in general. So, taking these little, these little babies for an example, Nicaraguan boas in general are much smaller growing snakes. So they're really good for people who are maybe transitioning from ball pythons or don't have space for a larger boa, like a 4 by 2 foot cage. Uh, you can generally keep these guys to adults, specifically males, uh, in cages that are about like a CB70 rack. A little bit bigger is better. Obviously, the larger you can go, the better it is, assuming that you have the space uh, or that you can keep, you can heat that space. So I'm going to put this little guy back and let's go in through a whole bunch of different Nicaraguan boas that I have here. And we'll talk about different variations of them. And <laughs> this guy's lighting me up. So this right here is why the Nicaraguan boas in general have gotten a bad reputation. Now, as babies, they tend to be a little bit nippy. Uh, which isn't a big deal. I don't really socialize these snakes, so it's not a big deal for me. But um, for a lot of people, they want a social snake. They want a snake they can take out, handle, and interact with all the time. That's not a really difficult thing to do with these snakes. If I put maybe a week's worth of effort into this girl right here, she would be an awesome snake that I could handle regularly and I wouldn't get bit. And you can probably hear the snakes in the background hissing. I'm going to show you, I have one snake in here that's just a regular BCI, Colombian BCI, or whatever you want to call it, and it is an absolute nightmare. So it isn't so much necessarily uh, related directly to the Central American and Nicaraguan species. It can go across all boas, but it does seem to be more occurring or reoccurring with these Nicaraguan boas, that they can be a little bit more nippy, but again, they all tame down, and I have some good boas at the end. I'm going to show you babies through adults, mid-sized boas, different variations of morphs, and all those snakes you'll see, they will tame down as you get through the larger species. This is just from me uh, handling these snakes in general in feeding time and stuff like that. They learn that I'm not a threat to them. This snake is a small little baby. You can't blame it for being afraid of me. Let's take a little look at this guy before I put him away. But it's an awesome, beautiful snake. So this is a Hypo Nicaraguan that's also het T positive, albino. And as you can see, this is, this is actually one of the results of one of my stripe lines that I'm going to get into. Um, just because a couple people asked, can I interweave the stripe line stuff that I've been working with into the video of the Central American boa. So I'm put this guy back. Let's jump right into some more stuff. So getting right into these, I'm going to show you a very normal, this is just a normal variation of a Nicaraguan boa. So these are, if you were to purchase this offline, it would probably be about $60, $70, somewhere maybe up to $100, depending on where you go. And they're awesome snakes for that reason. They're budget friendly, they stay small, they're very hardy, and then their temperatures are, are perfect. I mean, if your temperatures drop into the low 70s, you're not going to end up with a snake with a respiratory infection. But as you see, this snake is also very nippy. Now, it's not unmanageable, uh, as, as I'm not paying attention to the snake, but if I was, I wouldn't be getting bit like I just did with the first one, or this one right now. So, uh, let's zoom in a little bit on this guy here, because you can see they got the really cool orangey rust colors and stuff like that. They usually have uh, orange bellies, and I am just getting lit up this video. I hope I don't get lit up on some of these other bigger snakes, because uh, they'll draw a little bit of blood. These babies are okay, I'll get bit all day long by them more of a shock than anything. So these snakes, again, they're awesome snakes for those reasons that you, they're budget friendly and they're, they're very hardy. You're not going to have a difficult time keeping these guys. Uh, they're forgiving in the sense where you can have lower humidities, higher humidities, lower temps, higher temps. If your temperatures fluctuate a little bit, it's, again, it's not ideal, but from where these guys come from in the world, they can, they can withstand those temperature and humidity fluctuations a little bit better than something like a BCC, a boa constrictor constrictor, that, uh, or maybe it's boa constrictor, whatever it's reclassified as, these, um, these Amazon Basin type of boas that, uh, that they can't really, they, they don't deal well with the fluctuations. You're going to get six snakes. So next one I wanted to show you, so we just saw the normal one. I want to show you the anatheristic version of that. So anatheristic is the lack of red pigment. You've seen it on a couple of my other videos. You've seen it on some things that I've made before. But uh, I want to show you this is a pure Nicaraguan anatheristic boa. Um, again, these guys, they're all going to be nippy. This isn't really a great 
uh, marketing tool to, to pump out for, for Nicaraguan boas from the sense of them handling as a pet. But keep in mind that these guys, they're my pets, but they're also my breeders. So I have walls of snakes here, walls of snakes there. I can't spend hours every day socializing these. If I did, and maybe I will, maybe I'll make that part of this video, is I'll take this really nasty snake I have next to me that you hear hissing, and I will try to socialize that as part of kind of an experiment to show to you guys these things can get tamed down. You're going to see this is the male. I'm going to pull out the female who's a little bit more defensive and nervous, but you'll see that uh, that <laughs> that uh, they're um, they're really cool snakes in the sense that this is about a two-year-old male. So I'm going to get off camera here so it focuses in on this snake. And this is an anatheristic two-year-old male snake. They have these awesome bellies because all the orange that we saw in the first snake and then just gets washed out. Because these anatheristic snakes take out the red and because the naturally occurring Central American boa or the Nicaraguan boa has so much red in it, their anatheristic version is a really cool version of a snake compared to a common boa or BCI, something like that. So I'm going to put this guy back before he nails me again. I'm going to pull out the female who's probably going to bite me multiple times because she's the one that's hissing right now. And uh, I don't want to stress these snakes out. That's not the purpose of this, but I do want to show you the different variations of them. And the only way I can do that is to handle them. In the process, we'll consider this like a taming step. I would be doing this off camera if you guys were here or not, just to socialize them down. So this is the female version, same age, same, same litter as the one that we just looked at. I do have a little hook here because I'm not just going to get bit all the time. And I'm going to make a video specifically on how to uh, handle a snake that's like this. I'm actually going to use my wife in the video so that, um, so that you can see that it's not just things that I'm doing. And uh, well, there we go. So I'm getting bit a couple times here. But we'll, we'll try to get bit as little as possible. So this snake is absolutely on fire right now uh, oh that one hurt she's got me right under the nail right now and again I hate doing this on camera I hate getting bit on camera but I do want to show you that it's nothing to really be concerned about she's stressed out of her mind so let's move her out quickly and um, <laughs> let's just show you kind of her pattern and size she's biting herself I feel bad for this girl at this point so I'm gonna put her back and um, but I just wanted to show you the size difference between the male and the female. Let me maybe get the male out one more time so you can see him. So here's the male, here's the female. Again, both about two years old. Very cool snakes. And if I, you can just see, she was just nervous at first. I put her in this little clear bin. If I hold her for a little bit longer, she will calm down. Um, but again, I want to move this video along. So let's put her back and maybe get a towel for some of the blood on my hand. Um, let's put her back. And uh, we'll get out the next snake here. That poor thing. I feel bad. She's all stressed out right now. So, at least I guess it makes for good video. Maybe some of you guys are going to hate me for it. But I'm sweating. I don't like getting bit. Kevin McCurley from Nerd knows that. He wants me to hold an aggressive defensive snake. I'm like, no, 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 Kevin. Give me the tail. You hold the head. So... Going back into the hypo line, again, this is transitioning into some of that, that hypo stuff that I produced, that hypo stripe. I'm going to show you this baby. This baby was produced to a from the striped mother that I'm going to show you here to a just a normal looking Nicaraguan hypo like the one that I just showed you to start off the video. So what was interesting and what I found unique about this is that the stripe was genetic. About half the babies had stripes, the other half didn't. It looks similar to a motley... Uh, a motley um, Central American, but there's no motley in this. And I know that through when I purchased them, there's just, there's no motley. This is all hypo. And this is another fairly um, unhappy snake. So, yeah, I'm going to get bit a lot in this video. So, but what I do want to show you is, so this is a hypo Nicaraguan boa. Very pretty. Now she is a little bit older. So now you see this is about a three-year-old girl. She is a little calmer. <laughs> as I, I'm eating my words every second of this video, but she is a little bit calmer than the other ones. She's not as nervous. The other ones were super nervous. They, they never really come out, but what I want to show you, and again, I'm going to slide off camera so it focuses, is that this stripe does appear to be genetic, and she's just about to light me up if I, <laughs> over here. So, but this stripe does appear to be genetic. She's just really pretty colors, and that's what I think is so unique about the hypomelanistic animals with Central American is it just draws out that red. It, you get this overall really, really red snake that's super pretty and super awesome to look at. So I have 
about five more snakes, but I'm going to move through three of them quickly because they're all breeding. They're all kind of the same variations, and uh, I don't want to freak these girls out too much. So let's put this girl back, and one of them I may not take out because I feel like I've gotten bit enough that uh, the bite under my fingernail kind of, that one kind of sucked. So I'll pull her out. What the hell? Um, I do want to show you. So this is not a Central American boa, but I want to show you that even though... You know, just regular Colombian boas, they can just be really nervous snakes. So, you know, again, here you have this beautiful snake, but she's super nervous. And this girl I actually got maybe about a year ago. She was a little bit smaller than this. This is about a two and a half to three year old uh, BCI boa. So just a normal boa constrictor. She, she may have a little bit of Central American blood in her, but I really don't think she does. I think she's just, um, th it actually, if anything, there's leopard in her because of the stripe. And uh, she's just a really nervous snake. So this is the girl that I'm going to work on. She is like a chainsaw when she's in her cage. This is probably the craziest snake I have. And I'm surprised she's behaving so well. But I'm just trying to stay very calm, very still. And this is really helping her out. The other snake, she was, she was on fire before I even brought her out. And uh, I didn't want to manipulate her too much. This girl is more... She may even have a vision problem because I noticed she chases shadows. Uh, more than heat itself, she'll chase shadows. When I pull her out and she sees shadows, she goes after them. So I don't know if there's some type of a vision problem with her. Uh, I, again, I got her as an older animal, but I just wanted to show her that it, it's not just the Nicaraguan boas. Some of these boas are just nervous snakes. So let's let's put this girl back. And the rest of the video, I'm going to show you some really chill Nicaraguan boas. So that was kind of a, a crappy start. One of them is still a little bit, little bit nippy, but um, that wasn't the best start to me promoting these guys, these Nicaraguans and Central Americans. But I think this bin right here is gold. Um, I love the snakes in this bin. These are T-positive Central American boas, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pull them all out so you guys can take a look at them. This is just a typical uh, T-positive Central American, and he's trying to breed the female that I have in here at the right now at as we're doing this video. Let me put this bin over to the side here. So this again, very typical T-positive Central American, awesome snakes. It really softens them up, this, um, the coloration in here, it, uh, the T-positive, and it just turns them as babies. They're not super special. They look kind of dull, but as they grow, they really start to develop these awesome colors, and they turn just this, this I don't know what, like a caramel color. And it's just uh, caramel with lavenders and, and all different cool things in there. Let's just kind of get another look at this thing because she's just got some really pretty colors. I apologize. I'm a little bit bloody over here. But um, as you know, I, I, I guess I wasn't lying when I said I got bit. Uh, another really pretty one is this is an adult female. So this is about a three-year-old male. Uh, it's T-positive Central American. This is maybe a, a five-year-old female maybe six years old. So this is what I wanted to show and promote in the video is these girls, I did handle them a little bit more than the other ones here. They're very calm. They will calm down and they're just, they become these really cool snakes. I don't know how big she is, maybe, maybe five feet. She's an adult female. This girl is manageable. She might be a little bit big for a CB70. Uh, you, you probably want to upgrade from there, but in terms of like a four foot by two foot cage, or, or even if you're going to be using some of the aquarium style cages or terrariums, they fit perfect in them and uh, they're very forgiving. So again, the humidity, the temperatures, all that stuff, it's very forgiving with these animals. And um, you know, looking at the caramel colors that come out of this girl, it's just awesome. It, they, just, they really have some really cool colors. And then the last one that we're going to look at with the T positive in it is a T positive fire. Uh, T positive fire. So once you take the T positive and you add fire into it, it really starts to brighten the snake up and turn them into this super pretty, uh, very cool animal over here. So I get snakes riding all over or going all over the place, but you see what the fire does to that animal. It just intensifies everything on this snake. So I'll put this girl back and I want to show you one more older adult. This is, they're all going into the racks that I have behind me. So I want to show you one more older adult female, and uh, the older adult female is a Central American. She is part of that hypo striped line, but I want to show her for size reference mainly, um, size reference, and then to also show you guys just the different in genetics of the uh, of the striped line, how it looked very similar to the babies that we just looked at. So again, here this girl, she's about maybe ten years old or so, and so a ten year old boa 
if you can't manage this, you probably can't manage a ball python either. So this girl is just awesome. Um, she, again, you can see she's very friendly. When I got these snakes, they were out of control. And just through just some gentle handling, just I didn't even handle these girls. This is just them recognizing that I, I pose no threat to them. These little anatheristic girls, this one that's just going crazy in the bin next to me, she doesn't understand that. She doesn't know that I'm not a threat to her yet. Uh, by the time she's this size, or, or if I just spent more time handling her, which I may do, um, just to show you guys that it can be done and these can be good pets, is that they will calm down. So this is girl, this girl right here. If you remember the, the girl, or even rewind to the girl that I just showed you to start, I believe this is a hypo stripe. I believe the one I showed you to start the video was a super hypo stripe. And I'll show you why when I zoom in here. So you can see they have these connected saddles. So the other one didn't. They, she just had blotches. But she still has the same tail stripe, which I'll see if I can, I can get in the view here. This same tail stripe. And they, it's just the colors on this girl, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. They are just awesome in color. They have this like burgundy, reddish, uh, brownish color, and, and they're just amazing snakes. So I can't say enough good about the Central American boa. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys to death. Me getting bit a bunch of times totally threw me, threw me off, but... I, I, again, I hope you guys appreciate this video. Please keep liking, subscribing, and I'll make more of these. Let me know in the comments section what you guys want to see more of. If you tell me what to make, I'll make it. Otherwise, let's keep it moving. Thanks, guys.